It was born half a century ago, in the nightclubs and ballrooms of Harlem. A new dance to go with a new kind of music. The new music was called Swing. The dance went by many names, from the Mindy Hop to Jive. But most people called it Jitterbug. But I enjoy it. I, 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 and I love to. I love to hold a woman in my arms. <laughs> I don't particular moments, uh, me and my partner are in love with each other. I don't think you ever see a Mindy Hopper that's not smiling. When everything, when everybody was feeling low, it was a dance that was a happy dance that would get people together. And boys made of India rubber. Every Saturday night on the floor of the Savoy Ballroom, Harlem's best dancers competed against each other for a $10 top prize. So everyone was always on the lookout for a new wrinkle, a different step. There's somebody standing on the side watching you intently with a tape. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get that. You know, whatever things like that. But if it's good, great. Maybe you change it around a little bit. Maybe you go backwards, you know. But then when that person see that step again, you say, hey, man, that's a great step. Where'd you get it from? He said, oh, I got it from you. What they were on to was a dance that would soon move beyond the confines of Harlem and begin to excite audiences and dancers in white America. The vehicle for Jitterbug's burst of popularity in the late 1930s was a group called Whitey's Lindy Hoppers, carefully assembled from Harlem ballrooms by a street fighter turned dancer named Herbert White. Whitey. I went with Whitey when I was 14 years old. I had won a contest. And he saw me dance in a contest. He brought me to the support. Uh, he saw Frankie dance in the ballroom one time. And he saw Frankie in the after Frankie. He knew what he wanted. What Whitey wanted was to showcase the Lindy Hop, not only in America, but in nightclubs around the world. For that, he needed dancers like Frank and Norma. And he got them. We just had a charm life. When you're young, and you... Somebody said you're going to Europe and you're going to Paris. And, oh, my, I mean, you, do you, 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 you're 15 years old. I love Frankie like, he's just the most important man in the world to me. I just think that every time we look at each other, but, you know, the, the last the last funeral we went to was my dancing partner. Billy and I have been together 30 years. And uh, when when we went to, we was at the casket looking at Billy, and it was me, Frankie, and there was Billy laying in the casket, and we knew this was, there's only two of us left. Sort of makes you feel, um, sort of strange, because you want this the case of playing musical chairs. <laughs> 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 like you say, I say, hey, how do you feel lately, kid? <laughs> <laughs> 